Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this afternoon's update on Tropical Storm Philippe. So as of 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Thursday, October the 5th, Tropical Storm Philippe has re-intensified to a 50 mile per hour tropical storm uh, with a minimum central pressure of 1,005 millibars and northerly movement at 14 miles per hour. We also have another disturbance that is expected to emerge off the coast of Africa with a 30% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next seven days. So looking at the latest cone for Tropical Storm Philippe, Tropical Storm Philippe is expected to approach Bermuda overnight and pass about 50 miles to the west of the island by 2 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow afternoon. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Bermuda and Philippe is expected to move up towards Nova Scotia and New Brunswick by early Sunday morning, 2 a.m. Eastern Time, and make a landfall in either far eastern Maine, the western tip of, New, of Nova Scotia, or southeast, southeastern New Brunswick uh, early Sunday morning, and then dissipate Sunday afternoon across southeastern areas of Quebec. So looking at the latest Zoom Earth satellite imagery and cone 4, Tropical Storm Philippe. Tropical Storm Philippe is bringing a lot of showers, clouds and showers to Bermuda already as Philippe is starting to undergo a transformation to a post-tropical cyclone with most of the convection to the east and northeast of the center due to strong southwesterly wind shear. And looking at Friday 1 a.m. Central Time, we're looking at a 50 mile per hour tropical storm moving to the north and then as we go into uh, Friday 1 p.m. Central Time, a 50 mile per hour tropical storm about 40 miles northwest of Bermuda. So this is going to get very close to, to uh, Bermuda Friday afternoon. Going into Saturday 1 a.m. Central Time, a 60 mile per hour tropical storm moving to the northwest. By Saturday 1 p.m. Central Time, 60 mile per hour post tropical cyclone moving to the north and then curving into uh, the northwest by Sunday 1 a.m. Central Time as a 60 mile per hour post tropical cyclone very close to Nova Scotia and curving up towards Maine as we go into Sunday morning around sunrise and then as we go into uh, Sunday 1 p.m. Central Time a 45 mile per hour post tropical cyclone or southeastern Quebec. So looking at the latest rainfall accumulations first from the GFS model uh, we're looking at about one to two inches of rain in Bermuda from Tropical Storm Philippe and then up towards Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, about one to two inches of rain, and then Maine, especially the central and eastern portions, about two to four inches of rain could fall. So we could be dealing with flooding across Bermuda and Maine from Tropical Storm Philippe. Looking at the European model, the European model is bringing about two to four inches to Bermuda and then up towards uh, up towards Maine, about two to four inches, and about one to two inches across Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. So especially if you live across Maine, even areas of Vermont, New York State, uh, could be seeing a good two to four inches of rain from Philippe, and even in southeastern Quebec, four to six inches. So we could be seeing flooding issues across New England, the Northeast, and Quebec from Philippe. And looking at the Canadian model, once again, the Canadian is the most aggressive, bringing about two to three inches to Bermuda with much higher tolls to the east. And then up towards Maine, the Canadians bring widespread two to four inches with pockets as high as five inches. And then up towards eastern Quebec and Vermont, a good four to six inches with pockets of seven inches possible. So especially if you live across Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, uh, Bermuda, make sure you're preparing for flooding from Tropical Storm Philippe. So looking at the latest Tropical Storm Force winds probabilities and timing from the National Hurricane Center, um, Tropical Storm Force winds are expected to uh, begin in Bermuda by around 5 a.m. Eastern Time tonight, and Bermuda has about a 50 to 60 percent chance of seeing tropical storm force winds, actually a 60 to 70 percent chance. And then as we go towards uh, Saturday 8 p.m., we're going to see tropical storm force winds enter coastal Maine, Nova Scotia, and coastal New Brunswick, as y'all have about a 
30 to 40 percent chance of seeing tropical storm force winds from Philippe as of this evening. Looking at the latest uh, uh, flood potential from tropical storm Philippe, a slight risk of flooding is in place for eastern New York State, most of Vermont, or all of Vermont, most of New Hampshire, all of Maine, western uh, Massachusetts, western half of Connecticut in the yellow, with a marginal risk in the dark green across much of Pennsylvania, central western New York, northern New Jersey along island, and much of southeastern New England. So make sure you're preparing for scattered flooding from Tropical Storm Philippe. And then to close out the video, I'm going to read the key messages for Tropical Storm Philippe. Tropical storm conditions are expected on Bermuda beginning early Friday morning, and a tropical storm warning remains in effect. Heavy rainfall is expected to affect the island today into early Friday. This could produce flash flooding. Philippe is expected to move over portions of Atlantic Canada and New England as a post-tropical cyclone this weekend. Regardless of Philippe's intensity or structure, interest in those areas should be prepared for the possibility of strong winds and heavy rainfall, and monitor statements from their local weather office. The rainfall could produce isolated to scattered instances of urban and flash flooding. So if you live across Bermuda, across New England and Atlantic Canada into eastern Quebec, make sure you're preparing for tropical storm Philippe, especially heavy rainfall and flooding. Thanks for watching this evening's update. Please stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.